keep track of your devotion progress. Um, with this, their title flavors are a bit different. Oh, okay. Thank you, um, Peacock. I will. All right, we got the worker ant. It's asleep. It's gone. We got a... Oh, wow, Crispy. This is great. You guys are all, like, being super supportive to each other about your work schedules. It's fantastic. Very nice of you all. So Crispy is giving you advice, Big Bucket. He's saying change your shoes every other day and change your socks halfway sh through your shift to help your feet. And Big Bucket is saying bless all those working 12 or more hours. And we have Kamarai and Crispy at least who are doing that. Honestly, bless everybody who works. It's great. I know I, for one, don't want to work every day. And... How's, how's my chance? I got 40% on this ogre. And I have nothing else. Oh, I do have... I have a wand of acid. Never mind. I do have some stuff. Okay, great. I'm gonna try... This ogre is very, very scary to me. Um, I'm gonna shift over here. I'm gonna try to put him down. Um, big bucket. Like, if you teach high school, you're five days a week for sure. And it... When you teach college, it just depends on how many classes you have and what your schedule is like the most I will usually have to work in a week is like four out four days a week because usually there aren't classes on Fridays god this guy is so scary this guy could just one shot us oh my god we got lucky Bam. Look at that. So he um Yeah, bless you too, big bucket. Yeah, you know what? I, sh I should have thought about Brigand. I don't know why it didn't highlight Brigand, Kamarai. I am a uh, enchanter as my background. Aw, Crispy. Thank you, my friend. That is all I'm trying to do is just relax and have fun with you all and hopefully just bring some chill vibes some chill positive vibes to your lives I think you're probably right Peacock I mean let me look at this maybe I should just stop training short blades and just put it all into spell casting and hexes for a bit hey thanks for making me laugh with your food pictures crispy and for coming out to hang out i appreciate it bam there we go now we're getting into it there's this like i swear there's this part with these stabbers where at first it's so difficult and then you start to sort of hit a stride but it can be very touch and go i would love like a bunch more I would love the spell Blink, honestly. If I, I need to get Blink horribly, um, I don't think I've gotten... Nah, I've just gotten Necromancy. I got some Conjuration, but... The thing is, like... Conjuration spells like Magic Dart... They're just... Magic Dart is... It, tr it falls off tremendously in power... But its main strength is its range. And I can't exploit its range with this character. So it's not really that good for me. I don't think I can hibernate this skeleton at all. So I just have to try to kill it right away. There we go. Alright, we got the iguana. Pop. Now, 
we found a ring, which is amazing. I still have two scrolls of removes curse. I'm going to put this ring on poison resistance. Okay, well, that's actually great against adders right now. Hey, hey, fading. Good evening. Fading, I am trying some new stuff here. Look at me. I'm a kobold. Stabber started as an enchanter of Dithmanos. So I've never won with a kobold. I'm not good with stabbers, and I've never done Dithmanos. So, yeah, we have a whole bunch of new stuff happening here. Is that a... F I was going to say, is there a, f a fire cave on this floor? No, nah, I think it's just like a volcano that's in the water. Do it, Big Bucket. You got a bag? PB&J is my go-to for the work lunch. Oh, we got another ogre. All right, let's try to get this ogre to sleep. There he goes. Bam. Spellcasting to three, hexes to five. Let me see my spells now, shall we? Aw, oh, here we go. We got um, Ensorcelled Hibernation down to 9% fail. And Confusing Touch is three. We can also memorize a new spell. I should memorize um, Tukima's Dance, most likely. And then save up for um, Dazzling Flash. Tukima's Dance is really funny. It, it can, like, you can wreck a, an enemy like an ogre or something by taking their club away. All right, we're going down to Dungeon 5. The best I ever did with this fading was with my Spriggan Enchanter that was on stream. And I was actually starting to roll it. And then I got greedy against a Juggernaut and got obliterated. All right, this ogre is asleep. Let's see if we can keep him that way. Boom. See, I don't... Oh, no, you can put the jelly to sleep? Well, theoretically, you can. This jelly is just... He he just resisted five times in a row at 50%. That is bad for us. So we have to think about what we're going to do now. Like, what's our plan? I'm going to give him acid. Oh, no, he didn't care about that. Oh, my God. We got to go. We got to run. See, this is how scary it gets, right? I got to try to... There we go. We got him. Hibernate him now. And then... Um, there we go. It's like, if I hibernate, we win. If I don't, it's almost us dying. <laughs> that is the stabber's life. When you play stabber... Oh, thank you, Peacock. That's why. They're just immune to acid. Duh. Yeah, he is. He's like, I'm made of acid, you jerk. You can't use that against me. Of course. I'm sorry, Mr. Slime. Now... When you play a stabber in Dungeon Crawl, it is recommended to have a spare change of pants nearby. All right, here's Blork. Blork is asleep. He's got a hand axe of venom. Can we kill Blork in one shot? Yes. The answer is yes. Um, that is so good. All right. Goodbye, Blork. Do we have anything else that we picked up along the way? No. I really want to start using this shield. I Oh, God. There's Ustachio. We got to run from that. That's very bad for us. All right. Um, mental note to just avoid that entire side. Oh, wow, Peacock. Well, I'm glad that you're pleased about getting brought back to work. That's exciting. Good for you. Yeah, working from home has been... I agree. It's like... I will actually be happy to get back to the classroom myself. There are some nice things about working from home, but... 
I like teaching a lot better in person than online. Got the howler monkey. You can't howl when you're dead. You see what I did there? All right, we got to move away. There we go. Hey, hey, Nick man. What's up? How you doing? Just playing some dungeon crawl here, my friend. All right. Oh, no. Ustachio again. Hey, hey. IBK, good evening. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, Nick, man. It's just like... I feel like... It's worse for the students. It's worse for the teachers. It's The whole experience is worse remotely. Hey, RoboWiz. What's up, my friend? I teach um, English. English composition, English literature at a college. Bam. We got to get this guy down. Can I put this guy? I can't do that to him. All right. Well, what about can I confuse this guy? All right. We got him. We killed him. That guy was tough. Yeah, IBK. It's like basically um, just writing. Work from home with no pants? Well, you can. I do a lot of work from home in pajamas. I haven't gone the, the full nude route. And that's best for everybody involved. A hundred percent, Nick, man. I mean, like, it's the discussion board. Like, that's what we try to use in our English classes, you know, is the discussion board. And I taught, like, you know, a lit class, and we were reading short stories. And you're trying to discuss it on the discussion board, but it's just not the same. Yeah, way fewer questions asked. No, I don't have to teach Huckleberry Finn, but I do love Mark Twain, Kuro. All right, Eustachio's coming at us. Time to run. What's my chance? Actually, he's red, but I can hibernate him. It's not impossible. Where'd he go? Got him. Oh, what a jerk. He was asleep. He woke up, like, instantly. Ah, I'm probably dead now. Ah, he was asleep, so I went in for the kill, and I'm probably going to die because of that. That was dumb. All right, we got to run. Well, actually, no. His his summoned guys are going to try to follow us. Okay, we made it. We made it. Woo! That was terrifying. So, Ustachio is down there, and he's angry. Oh, that's right. You know what? Let me just pause for a moment to reflect and think... I believe that's exactly what I was going to say, Peacock. Like, once you hibernate somebody and they wake up, you can't just hibernate them again. They have, like, a cool-down period before that works again. So I made a mistake by trying to do that again. I could have confusing touched him, but not hibernated him again. Yeah, Kuro, I can... There is a lot of slang, and it's like old-timey slang in Huckleberry Finn and stuff. And I can imagine, if English is not your primary language, how difficult that would be. Sense and sensibility is another thing altogether. I, I personally like Jane Austen, um, but yeah, that's just... You're talking about trying to read something from uh, a different era. With all different contextual references... Ah, run. Um, oh god. Hey, mentally twitchy. 
What's up, my friend? Thank you for the follow. Oh, this looks terrible. What am I doing? Um, I got too stubborn there. The fact that I have no potions identified at this point is so bad. We've gotten two scrolls of identify. Not my favorite. Um, okay. You know what I can do is I can try to just acid. Okay. Wand of acid saves the day. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Not while I'm trying to sleep, Ustachio. This is not the time for you to come in here. <laughs> Alright, let's run away from him and heal up. I honestly think I can get the experience out of Ustachio if I can get the ideal circumstance. And can I say something? Which is that Dithmanos is tough to get piety for. Goodness gracious. I've been killing things for a while now. Oh well, we'll get that pip someday. Yeah, I like uh, Brave New World. I love that book. I actually like uh, To Kill a Mockingbird as well. Oh, look at that. Speak of the Dithmanos. Now we've got our shadow. So, the Shroud of Darkness, it does something for us. It makes it so enemies have a harder time hitting us. Is that right? Yeah. Frankenstein is a great book, isn't it? Got him. I knew we could get him. I knew we could get Eustachio. We just had to get him hibernated, and we got him. So great. He has um, plus two leather armor of fire resistance. So going back to uh, Kemurai's earlier question, we're going to see what we can do with this. It Oh, thank you, Kemurai. So it increases your stealth, and it makes it so the enemies are hard, have a harder time hitting you. It's actually, that's great. I mean, that's freaking perfect, honestly, if I can keep this going. I love short stories, Nick Man, and what I love about short stories is teaching them in class because it's like, it's a much more, it's much easier to get your head around it and feel like the students are actually going to read it. Yeah, it's hard to remember. There's so many, and, like, every author has, you know, dozens. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's my plan. I'm going to step up the steps here. And I'm going to put on my leather armor of fire resistance. Well, first, let me check myself. My stealth right now is listed as five pips. And my... Um, and sourceful hibernation is four, two, two. That's my spell fail rate. So if I were to wear this armor, my evasion does go down, right? And then my um, my spell fail goes up, but not a whole lot. And then my stealth goes down. So I'm not as stealthy, and I'm not as good at casting spells. But I get three pips of armor class and fire resistance. So I don't really think yet that it's worth it. But we're getting really, really close. Okay. Kuro, bringing literature to the stream is pretty much something you should always do because it's near and dear to my heart. I love it. And I feel you. But if you just start reading a little bit again, it'll all come back. I swear. Follower, good evening, my friend. It is four days in a row. No sleep still? Man, you're, you're going to start seeing things, follower, at this point. All right, I'm going to read this scroll. Enchant armor. Perfect. Okay, so... What I'm actually going to do... 
I'm going to enchant my um, leather armor of fire. Uh, am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to enchant my robe. All right. I'm enchanting my robe just to give me an extra pip of armor class and stay stealthy. Yeah, I sure, I sure do. Um, Nick, man. I like to teach... Um, I teach a variety, but Philip K. Dick is definitely one that I love to teach. Margaret Atwood. Kazuo Ishiguro. I'll tell you what, I taught the book um, The Three Body Problem in a class last summer. So good. Love that book. All right. It's not really English. I mean, you just started at Camera. It is awesome. It's a, you know, obviously it's a Chinese book in translation, but it's, it's so good. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Got him. <laughs> that centaur is moving too fast. Got him. Woo, that sky beast almost wrecked us. <laughs> you are seeing things, follower. Oh, man, it doesn't sound fun. I'm telling you, dude, they use um, sensory deprivation or sleep deprivation as a as a torture method. You got to get some sleep, dude. All right, that's Dungeon 5. Wrecked it. Let's see. Do I want to memorize any spells? I could go ahead and get Dazzling Flash. I guess it would be helpful. <laughs> I can't. I've... I use the internet to get all of my answers to all of my questions about books. And I then have a text-to-speech software program read the information that I cannot read from the internet about them. Oh, you know what, Kuro? I did that too. When I... Uh, several years ago, when I was... Uh, I would teach uh, a class that was just Harry Potter novels... Oh, please, get me Blink, get me Blink. Uh, well, we got Petrify. I mean, that's not really good, though. So, I mean, we got Yara's Violent Unraveling and Metabolic Inglaciation, but I've never found these to be good. Wouldn't that be cool? Nick Band, yeah. I mean, I've been in that vein. I, uh, I've taught David Mitchell books. David Mitchell's amazing. Um, Kurt Vonnegut. Neil Gaiman, I haven't taught, um, a Neil Gaiman book yet, but I should. Terry Pratchett is good. For sure. All right, we got an ogre. Bam, dead ogre. So, Dithmanos, what you got for us? Our title is Darkened, and we radiate the aura, making us more stealthy. And they have a harder time hitting us, which is good.
Yeah, Neverwhere was amazing, Kamurai, and I also liked uh, The Ocean at the End of the Lane. That book was really, really good. Stardust was really good. The Sandman graphic novels are amazing. That's right, Peacock. Trog says no to books all day long. Oh, that stinks. Nick, man. I know. Graphic novels are great. Percy Jackson. Yeah, that's a big one for sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Level nine. Make us smarter, please. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was me just putting a whole lineup of orcs to sleep. Now, I'm going to search for um, daggers. Nothing good. I'm going to search for a short blade. Nothing good. Nothing better than what we have. I'm going to search for robe. Nothing better than what we have. See, this is getting to be a, a slight problem with this character, which is that, like, I haven't found a helmet, cloak, gloves, boots, um, a good amulet, a second ring. It's a little upsetting. Now, let me look at my spells. I'm at, My fill rates are amazing right now, and so I'm going to actually try. If I put on this buckler, let me look at my spells now. This The fill rate's double. But I think it's worth it at this point to go with my shield. Um, I'm probably going to just turn off spellcasting and hexes for a moment and turn on shields. Let me make sure that, yeah, the buckler doesn't make me any less stealthy. But I need the extra defense. Like, just the chance that I could roll to block or evade is so huge. Oh my god, Maggie. Maggie. Oh no, she woke up. Was it good, Crispy? Oh my god, she woke up. I might have to blink away from her. Run above her, Peacock. Now, let me look at my other spells. I could... Um... Oh, that's cool. I really need to get into something like a web novel. I haven't given that much of a chance, Nickman, but um, Zombie Night Saga sounds good. Oh, Peacock, yeah, the this jackal um, stood on the steps. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a bad place. So what I can do is... She has she has plus two steam dragon scales, which would be a tremendous piece of armor for me. So let's try to kill her. Um, I can Tukima's dance her weapon away. Got it. Okay. So she has no weapon. I've been mesmerized by her, which stinks. But now um, I can just blast her with acid yeah isn't that great I didn't know that um, Nick man but yeah that's exactly like what Charles Dickens would do you know most of Charles Dickens stuff was serialized in um, magazines by chapter oh man all right we're in we got Maggie's like large weapon away from her and ours on our side so that's perfect let's see if we can like let me look at what dazzling flash would even do oh we got her dazzling flash confused her oh no we didn't kill her we didn't you don't get the full like stabbing bonus i'm gonna try to kill the jackal honestly ah i can't all right get her with acid get her with acid all right, she's almost dead. All right, we got her. Her own weapon killed her. Look at that. The plus zero halberd um, killed her. Perfect. 
And we're just going to finish this guy off. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Yeah, Steam Dragon Scales Peacock are in incredible. I'm super pumped about that. That is interesting, Kuro. I love learning about how people in different parts of the world take literature and, you know, in what fashion. So, I can't remember with Tukima's Dance if this halberd is going to fall out of the sky and not be a threat to me when the spell wears off. I think that's what happens, right? I'm just going to rest. Yeah, there it goes. It falls down. All right, we're going to pick up these um, Steam Dragon Scales, and we're going to go up. Now, um, check this out. So, right now, we're wearing um, our robes. But if I look at my Steam Dragon scales, they, um, they're they light and supple, so they have an encumbrance rating of zero, which is just like um, a robe, but it has a base armor rating of five. So it's actually very similar to... Is it scale mail or chain mail that has a five base armor rating? Um, and so our... Armor class is going to increase by four. Ring mail. Thank you, Fading. And so it's like ring mail, except there's no encumbrance. It does make you resistance to st scalding steam, which is fun. Why not? Oh, wow. Nick, man. Um, you know what, Kuro, Nickman, everybody in the chat, honestly, I need to put a, a discussion channel in the Discord for literature recommendations for books, mangas, graphic novels, web novels, everything, so that I don't forget all of this stuff. This is awesome. I love getting recommendations for things. All right, I'm going to wear these scales and you can see that nothing changes our stealth stays the same it's just our armor class flies up it's so good all right and we can go back down we had to use like everything to kill her but it was totally worth it oh my god yes two scrolls of identify so good All right, so what we're going to do then is flip over here, and we're going to identify our potions. Yeah, Kuro, I think it would be perfect. There's flight. I need heal wounds. Uh, lignification is okay. Bullfrog dead. All right, shield's up to three. Let me look at my spells. Yeah, our uh, fail rate is almost there. So our shield skill is up to 3, and our ability to block in general is up to 7. So that is amazing. Yes, Kamurai, that's a great question. Um, ah, Zay de Espada. Perfect question. Um... <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome, Nick Man? So, um, what you need to do is, I believe it's something like this. I think, um, Z de Espada, you add a line something like this travel delay equals 20 to your, um, your RC file. And,. It's, it's either like that or it's like this. Something like this. And then it makes it so you don't instantly teleport and you kind of move around like on the console version. It's super helpful. I love it, Zadeus Bada. Aw, oh, Kamurai. That sucks. An eight-headed Hydra? On Dungeon 6? Ugh. Ugh. 
oh, you know what, Kuro? That is a, actually, that's a great idea. We could have discussion in one channel, and then, yeah, the recommendations in another. Yeah, because we don't want them to get... Boy, how many good ideas are we getting tonight? This is great. Nick, man, I think people would love it if, yeah, we were just AFK mining and just talking about books the whole time. That would be a real thriller of a RuneScape stream. All right. Hey, thanks, Big Bucket. I enjoy yours as well. Uh, we cannot get this closet, so we have to just fight it with our dagger, and it is painful. Uh, what do you think about flames, closet? Do you care? Not really. Two whites. Can I... Hibernate whites. Nah, they're like undead. Undead don't care about this. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to... Yeah, undead are tough. I just skip it. Oh, identify. Alright, we got another two stack. There's potions of might. Ugh, not what I was looking for. What drained my dexterity? That's odd. Was it the closet? Yeah, the closet did it. What a jerk, that closet. Hey, look, it's an altar to my god. Uh-oh. I want that identify scroll, but I don't want the white. There we go. Let's get out of here. All right. Chainmail. No good. Teleport scroll is so nice. I'm Now we have three. So, I mean, with a character like this that's so fragile, having any kind of escape is essential. All right. We're going to identify this stack. Three potions of magic. That's helpful. Oh, there's Grinder. What you got, Grinder? Um... He has... Yeah, he has the ability to paralyze us and cast pain on us. All really scary stuff. What's my chance? Oh, he he can't... He's not susceptible. Ugh. Um, What are you holding, Grinder? Alright, what am I going to do here? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, just um, Dazzling Flash. It didn't hit Grinder, And then we're going to try to just Confuse Grinder, maybe. Got him. Got him. Yes. Man, I am so pumped that that worked. So we did Confusing Touch to Grinder, and he was... So if you've never played a stabber just as a heads up and this is all stuff i learned last time by the way from smarter people than myself at this game um you know peacock snack man etc but like basically when you are attacking an enemy if they're sleeping or they're hibernated you do full backstab damage which is like something like four times the damage something crazy and then if they're confused you still get your stabbing bonus, but it's reduced. It's like half as much or something like that. So Grinder wasn't asleep. He was confused, right? You could see right here, Grinder appears confused. But then when you hit him, you still get a bonus. So it says you catch him completely off guard and you impale him. And then um, again, I caught him off guard and I killed him. So... That is how we were able to take down Grinder, who would not be hibernated. Oh, hey, Ryan. Good evening, my friend. Thank you so much. We were just talking about RuneScape earlier. You started when you were nine. Memories? Oh, man. 